I was quite amused by, you know, listening to uh, to Hansen's uh, chat during the week about how, you know, we'll definitely see something from Joe's team. You know, what it'll be, we'll have to wait till till Saturday. It's painful enough that they scored off first phase against them in doing so. Yeah. One of the power plays that, uh, that Ireland had practiced, obviously had studied exactly what the back three do, manipulated the defence into doing exactly what they wanted to, created space in the backfield. And huge credit to Jacob Stockdale for going to the boot so quickly again after having a block down. The easy thing for him to do would have been to tuck and try and carry through contact. But the space was in behind. Um, and to, to break that down, you know, they, they went to a five-man. And we've had some success off five-man line, as you remember back to the England game as well. Um, but the switch play, Dane Coles had come off the back of the line out just, just off the bench, fired into Sexton, probably made him throw the pass a fraction earlier than he would have liked to Bundy, yeah. who threw a beautiful pass across to Stockdale. If you watch the line out, every one of them knew what they were doing. Key and Healy had been on the five. All of them got to the 15 at least to create a good space for Stockdale and Rory Best, who dropped out onto the wing mm -hmm. to run into. And that's what, what cued Ben Smith, who would ordinarily have covered a cross with Damian McKenzie to fill in for him on the open side. He realised they came down their side, saw Rory Best dropping to the touchline. That's why he charged in and realised his two defenders that he had to defend with were Whitelock and Retallick. And that's why he accelerated so much to close that space down. And that created that huge void in behind. And that's where Aaron Smith was the only one ultimately that could make a decision to, to get into that space. And he didn't have, mm -hmm. uh, he didn't have the legs on Jacob Stockdale, who, you know, uh, who enacted a beautiful uh, um, little chip and chase. He barely stro uh, broke stride yeah. uh, and, and beat him to a bouncing ball, which you know could have gotten away from him. But he was aggressive in getting after it. And then you know the momentum, even though he was tackled five out, was always going to carry him over. So, so a, a brilliant, brilliant yeah. Ireland try <clears throat> so that is hatched from the training ground. Yeah, there's a huge amount going on there. Obviously, so there's the line out and then everybody getting over on uh, inside the fifteen, as you say, to create yeah. the space out wide. You've Rory Best hanging out there. Obviously, that's very much his job to stay out there and draw a man. You have Stockdale, who knows what his role is. And then you have Sexton and everybody inside him, trying to make it look to it's everybody that they're going... Of course we're going inside. We've done it all game. Here's my pot of three. We're going inside and delaying the pass as long as possible to Aki, who I presume that's not an easy run to make. And people have said Aki's pass out to Stockdale Beautiful was pass. brilliant as well. Nefson pass. Yeah. You know, he sticks in me inside shoulder. That's the difference between you know, the, the, the defence that's charging one direction, being able to change direction and get across to the yeah. other. So that ball right out in front. Stockdale actually, he looked a bit disinterested, which is exactly what he needed to do. Right. A bit like... Um, like uh, Bundy Aki had done in, in the Six Nations, that he was kind of you know, just almost being wasteful, being a little bit lazy. So he wasn't showing any intent to do anything. Everyone else was showing deception that weren't getting the ball. The guy that is getting the ball looks disinterested, mm. gets the pass from, mm. from Aki. And then he has multiple options depending on what happens. Ben Smith doesn't close that space. He tries to get to the last defender and pop it to Rory Best. Yeah. Um, and Ben Smith will look back and, you know, and probably look and realise Rory Best, not the fastest player on the pitch, did he really need to close that space? But this is all happening in hundreds of a second oh, yes, and of course, you don't have yeah. an opportunity exactly to, to identify who's who. You know, you look at Ben Smith's own hookers, Dane Cole's one of the best athletic hookers out there. You know, he's thinking, right, I've got to get there and close that space. Someone will cover for me where, where I've left off. Damien McKenzie possibly could have shifted across a little bit earlier because yeah. he seemed, you know, even when, when it went back blindside, he still seemed to be covering a huge amount of ground by the time the chip went in and didn't get a finger uh, close to, to Stockdale. So I wonder about him, whether he worked hard early yeah. When he realised it was going over the other side where he thought, oh, that's their side of the pitch, you know, I'll let them look after it. Yeah. So it, it was a magnificently constructed power play and we come to expect them from Joe. There was, there was other ones in the game that nearly got there, but when you get one off first phase, as we've seen in big games like England and New Zealand, and they're, the diff they're often the difference yes. in the winning and losing, you know, you, you have to tip your cap to them.